Welcome back to the Audio Hag Show. Uh, somebody's calling me. Is it Hansy? <laughs> it is Hansy from Ontario, Canada. Wait a minute, it might be him. Hello? Hello? Yeah. Hello? Uh, it was Ontario, Canada. I thought it might be Hansy. It might be. He's been really mad lately at me because I'm not picking up the phone. He claims I'm sending <laughs> trolls. <laughs> Uh, you fat tub of ass, you want to F with me, do it yourself, not with your... What's going on? Not with your P-trolls. Tell my friends I said what up when you do a private party down in Toronto. Terrible. Hmm. And the last one, all in capital letters. Let me on the air if you keep sending people to harass me on Twitter, you fat piece of ass. <laughs> What's going on? Why doesn't he call into the show on? line? What's going on? I don't know. Mike in Milwaukee. Let's take a call. Mike in Milwaukee, you're on the air. Mike? Mike in Milwaukee? The girls have to hang, uh, put him on hold first. Uh, How you doing, buddy? Uh, there he is. There he is. What's up, bud? Hey, listen. Uh, While well, you got Brent there, and I'd like to get John's take on this as well. Um, and Dominic and Sue, the $100,000 fine. Yeah. Uh, uh, Jeff Saturday and uh, one of the Hasselbecks, the uh, unsuccessful one. Tim. Uh, we're talking about, you know, what a, what a dirty player he is and, and basically that now, that fine was a joke. He should have been suspended. It's it's uh, no secret that he's he's just dirty. He's a scumbag. And uh, one of those <laughs> spoken guys, like a true Packer fan. <laughs> uh, well, I'm telling you, you know, he he, he, he is. Uh, it's noted, that, you know, he's done this plenty of times. He, he kicked, uh, I believe it was the Texans quarterback in the giblets, uh, oh. clearly on purpose. In the giblets. Yep, stomped on. Uh, I, I think it was T.J. Lang's <laughs> arm on Thanksgiving Day. Uh, on and on and on. But he, yeah. he should have been suspended. It's all right, well, first state. of all, I want to ask John real quick before you... Do, in this situation, will the guys pass a helmet around to help him pay no. the fine? Or is, no. Is, it's <laughs> no. on him, huh? It's on him. All and right. really, it, it amounts to being three game checks for him. Because he gets thirty-seven that, that, grand. That's a, a hit. That's a it hit. In the a wallet, hit. man. Well, a hundred grand. If to give you some scope, they find Bill Belichick five hundred grand for Spygate. Mm -hmm. which was huge. Right. right. Um, they find Ray Lewis 250 grand for obstruction of justice when he was going through that with the murder. Well, yeah. does, well so does he? In, it's in, a huge in, fine. It's a big fine. I, do I think that he needed to be suspended? I think that the NFL can do whatever they want with this guy. I think the fact that Sullivan, the guy who he chopped, is coming to his defense and saying it's Sullivan. not a big deal. Sullivan! The center, the center for the Vikings, he just had microfracture knee surgery in the offseason. Right. And Sue comes and chops him 20 yards behind the, the guy who's running with the, the football on a, chain, Sue. on a turnover. It was, it was really low. Yeah. And, and if I'm a guy, man, if I'm a guy who's, who's up against him, you know, I'm ensuring that he can never do that to me by hitting him as often and as dirtily as possible, and I think it's going to catch up to him. You know, I think well, keeping him in the game is almost worse than suspending him. Brent, even though compared to John, who was in the league for seven years, you have zero <laughs> credibility. On this. What, are your, what are your thoughts? Well, I, since I ran cross country at Kansas State, <laughs> this really hits home. I think he's dirty, and I think he's an idiot because every official has his eye every nice. week on that guy. And he's a dirty idiot. You heard it here, Brent Stover. This is based on his reputation as much as anything. Even if the hit was three quarters or two thirds as dirty as it was, I still think he would have gotten a hundred thousand dollar fine because, based on his yeah. reputation, all eyes on him, they are out to get this guy, and they should be because well, he yeah, continuously sure. does this. He's well, an idiot. That's the thing. Each a hundred grand is where the bar is set. Now, next time it's going to be two hundred. Yeah. I mean, the, the list of offenses as it grows, they'll just keep finding him more yeah, Goodell, and more and Goodell's more. Goodell's not putting up with but, all this stuff. Listen, Matthew Stafford, if you saw what he said about it, he said, you know, it's a, it's a shame that uh, Ndamukong did this because it overshadows the fact that he played an incredible game. Yeah. He was in the backfield the entire game. He completely destroyed that offense. So no one's paying attention to that. He plays well enough that he will get that next huge contract where a $200,000, a $500,000 fine really won't matter to him. Mike, so I don't think it changes the way that he plays. Bichetti if he's suspended or not, he's, oh, he's no, going to play this way. Let's hear Mike in Milwaukee first, then Bichetti. Mike, what are you thinking ultimately here? I'm sorry? 
You, what are you thinking ultimately here? Well, you're a Packer fan. We know so you're a little biased, but what do you think is going to What should happen? I, I think he should have been suspended because it, it's, it's how long it's the first <laughs> through the next two really Packer do. games. How long is he <laughs> suspended? He's a knob. He should have been suspended for a couple games. Is he in fact your knob of the week? He, but he's in the, he's in contention. He's he's in the running for sure. Uh, <laughs> and on a personal note, I got to ask before I hang up. Uh, the hammer wants to know where you and the uh, lovely Adrian are uh, registered, and also. Um, I'd like the opportunity to read for the uh, part of Peppy Chimpers in uh, Beer League 2. Oh. Uh, well, I don't think there'll be a Beer League 2, and Peppy Chimpers, I think we have to change his name anyway for legal reasons. <laughs> Peppy Chimpers. And uh, for the purposes, why not, or, I don't know, register Tiffany's. Go get us something there. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, Artie doesn't know where they're registered. I don't know. We're not registered anywhere right now, and uh, there's no date or anything, you know? I don't know where make- I was registered were you no registered i don't know or you just let people <laughs> yeah bring i don't i think Did i think the wife you registers the yes group? well then you weren't registered anywhere no we were registered i think i think they everyone are. registers you my and wife registered us the, and then they picked the i don't from know there, where right? it was yeah it's like bed bath and beyond that's, yeah that's you registered unusual. places uh, yeah well was, we're registered at applebee's there's a two meal plan <laughs> <laughs> there's a four entree plan <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I, I, well, listen, I will keep you posted. Mike, that is very kind of you to think of us. I will keep you posted as I, I find out more. Excellent, excellent. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. And uh, uh, we appreciate the call. Mike Pachetti, I know you've uh, been studying the league for years, and Anna Kun Tzu. <laughs> uh, now, what are, you, what are your thoughts on this cheap shot, this, this, this guy? What do we do about this cop here? Anybody that plays dirty, suspend him and make him pay, pay, pay the price. Now, Mike, I noticed well, you are very much you, you are very much a guy who you are not into like uh, giving mercy. You're a, you seem to be a right wing guy where you're like this guy's uh, a jerk. He's a wimp. Well, if somebody, if somebody, he's a scumbag. If some, you you are not a liberal on any, no, any if somebody, means. No, if somebody cheats like that and hurts other people, let them you know get their just desserts. I know you know you always have had a lot of just desserts. It looks like. <laughs> How about the right Some guard unjust. for the Steelers? Should he be fined for chopping his own teammate and Who? blowing his knee out? Who? That's right. That was unbelievable. Did you oh, see that, that guy. Pouncey. What did he do? Pounce. 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 He's a Pro Bowl center yeah. and the right guard. I don't know what he was looking at. He chopped his own player <laughs> and blew his knee out in the opening game of the year. Pouncey. Unbelievable. Pouncey out. This commercial break in Artie Lang show after this. Welcome back to the Arnie Lang Show. Brent Stover with me. And I want to get your uh, your thoughts. I watched some of that Fox Sports 1, the new network, uh, yeah. trying to get a hold on it. And basically, it's 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 funny, but they're, they're, they're pulling no punches here. They're basically saying, look, we're copying SportsCenter. That's what we're doing. We're oh, setting, really? We're setting up a desk that looks like SportsCenter. <laughs> we get all the highlights with our cameras, I guess, or we buy the highlights from wherever you buy the highlights from, or we got our own cameras of the games. And they're getting guys who are good at that thing, that... You know, our own Dan Patrick here at DirecTV really is, is a co-founder of, you know, that sort of sarcastic, witty yeah. way of giving the highlights. And that's a talent. It's a true talent. you got to be yeah. good at that. And they basically, I guess, audition guys to see if they were good at doing that with the highlights. And you got to be on top of it. you got to do it quickly because it's stuff that just happened. And uh, they basically, that's what they do. That's yeah. what it is. It, it looks like SportsCenter, their version huh. of I haven't Sports seen Center. it at all. Uh, it's the two guys from TSN in Canada, and they were really well liked. North, of, in in my were they opinion, radio kind of a, guys or what? No, were they? they were TV. They were doing like TSN Sports Center, Canada's version mm-hmm. of, what of are the their ESPN. Name? I can't remember. I haven't watched it a ton. I I can tell you this. I That's think it. Is that it right there? Yeah. We're looking at it right there. That's one of those guys, yeah, right? I or think it's one of the so, several guys we use. It's an acquired taste. And for me, it, I think, well, I think me, at some Sports point Center. I'm going to like it. I, I mean, it's Sports Center. Yeah, I mean, but they're, they're, I think it's more Saturday Night Live got some so nice far. Graphics. Well, Saturday Night Live? Like, what are they doing? Like, I, you saw some well, I mean, like, sketches and stuff? They're trying it to be just too seems funny. like, it. yeah, a little bit. And some people love it. And I. I'm and, I, and I'm like, leaving you, it open to where I might. Well, at give some me an point, example. Like, why are they funny? Like overtly. Like I know they're trying to be witty and funny with them, but like, what they do bits that are funny? Like yeah, just you know the different voices and stuff. You know, just huh. different stuff. Huh. Like you might see, it's kind of a cross between what Dan Patrick and Olbermann used to do, and Saturday Night Live. And my and hey, a lot of people love it. I mean, they went right out. They it it was a situation where Fox One said these are the guys that we're launching this network. Right. With. So well, I mean, but do, do they, they don't. Well, when you say SNL, I'm thinking, you mean Weekend Update, Saturday Night Live, like sitting at. A I desk. just mean kind of the the whole idea of trying to, you know, the shtick, mm-hmm. trying to be kind of mm-hmm. trying to be funny with every 
single thing. Yeah, and that, I think that, that's, that's tough a bad, to that's do. That's a bad move. That is that's tough a bad move. First I, of all, it sets you up to fail. Secondly, the, the, the comedy should be a novelty. It should come out of what a yeah. highlight is, and it should be a rare thing. That's why when it happens, it's special. Yeah. The, you know? I'll say this. They are both very talented guys, and I like what they do with the side set. Like, and, and that's where they've gotten some criticism, but I actually like it, is they have, like, Andy Roddick, Donovan McNabb, they've got Gabe Kapler, the former Boston Red Sox. They have these different analyze, uh, analysts hosted by Carissa Thompson, the side set I'm talking about here. And they have guys from different sports, and, like, they'll have one topic, NFL. Like, Andy Roddick's talking about the NFL. Mm -hmm. Now, the criticism is, why do I care what a former tennis player? Well, right. I think it's kind of cool. I kind of like it. I like hearing Gabe Kapler athletes, or Andy Roddick athletes, give his opinion. Athletes from other sports talking as fans of other sports. Yeah, I'm, I'm all right with it. I, no. I really like that. Well, that's what like I this. Is like a game show looking thing? I well, know. This is the broad, that's the broad you're talking about, right? What's your name? Carissa, Carissa Thompson. Carissa. Very talented. Yeah, yeah. Cute. Yeah. She worked. Uh, at, we know what you mean by talent. She worked at ESPN. <laughs> she was a Big Ten Network when I was there. That's where I first met her. Well, that's so. what we went for with Mike and Mike Ly Boschetti, <laughs> and Mike lied on his resume saying he was a sports fanatic. <laughs> we wanted to throw him as the side. Mike is our side set. Yeah. And, and he is. But, but look what happens. Like Mike, your give us your thoughts on week one of the NFL. I think it's a phenomenal week. You see, that's all he gives us. <laughs> <laughs> And then, and then, and then, like we were, we were misled. We were misled that we we wanted the side set to be more like, oh, see, oh, now I get what you're talking about. See, now I'm watching. This is a password sketch they're doing. It looks like a sketch right. starring Donovan McNabb. Yeah, this right. part I haven't seen. I think they're they're trying new, throwing everything against the wall every day. They're this trying looks different terrible. Stuff. This is like ten thousand dollar pyramid. They're they're saying everything but the name that they're looking for. Here it's Andrew Luck, and uh, you have one guy giving the clues, and Donovan is. Trying to guess the. Uh... This looks downright unwatchable. Yeah, I, I don't think I'd be into this. <laughs> uh, but the, even though Donovan McNabb did mention you in uh, his retirement speech, I know that was that, right? that was amazing. Yeah, he did. He mentioned John. He said all the guys, the fullbacks who uh, blocked for me, and. Uh, yeah, he said know. me and Leonard Weaver. Well, yeah, it's pretty impressive. I thought it was. Yeah, I was really. I felt great about that. I it thought really he nice got. A, of him. I don't think Philly fans ever appreciated him as much as they no, should. No, they not at all. Oh my! Well, no. what do Philly fans appreciate? Nothing. Let's yeah. make a list. Let's make a <laughs> list of that. Kansas City. Nothing. I'm a Chiefs right. fan. It, same with Andy Reid. I could not possibly be happier than to have Andy Reid as the head what, coach of the they're, Chiefs. They're, they're he's a great, be good. great football coach, Andy yeah. Reid. He's a great football they're coach. They're going to be great. Yeah. They, they will be. So, they're they're a playoff team already. Like right away, exactly. Yeah. He's a big fat body. <laughs> but uh, listen, I'd be a hypocrite if I called him that uh, in a derogatory way. That's, Mike, so your thoughts on Mike, your thoughts on Andy Reid's career? Here's, uh, our, here's our side set with he, Mike Pichette. He's a great humanitarian, and I like fat guys. <laughs> what is uh, well, How is he humanitarian? Give me an example. Well, you know, he he must be if he's you know been around this long. I don't understand what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no idea what you mean by that. He, I heard he's a good guy. By who? Uh, from who? Who'd you hear that from? Um, Give me a credible source. Mr. John Ritchie. He's not a sports expert. There I don't, you go. I don't know you guys, I you, I don't you guys ever speaking about it. <laughs> <laughs> what, so, are, what are your thoughts on Andy Reid's background? What, what does he bring to the Kansas City Chiefs? That's going to help them. This is our side set. <laughs> okay. He's, uh, he's, uh, he's, uh, he's uh, a loyal man to his, to his people, I guess. Explain yourself. <laughs> now he's got a whole new uh, wait, coaching no. staff. Wait, 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 with no, no, don't tell him that. What are you doing? <laughs> All right. Well, he's saying he's loyal to his people. It's, it's our side set. <laughs> Good. Explain yourself. <laughs> um, he's, he's, he's very loyal, committed to what he does. He has. To. What does he do? He just trains people to be the best they can be. And when how's that work for him? Uh, I don't know how the Chiefs are doing now. What, what do you think? Uh, <laughs> what do you think is his highlight of his career? Probably what he's doing right now. Which is what? Being a coach. I mean, people, it's a great, it's not an easy task to do. Well, explain some of the things he's gone through uh, that have uh, been. No, I'm saying because just to be able to get people to that point. What point? <laughs> no, where they are. I mean, you know, to be able to be as good, to get them to be the best they can be. But do you think he's done that every year? No, people are bad and good years. Name a year he didn't do that. I don't, uh, <laughs> maybe this year. No, this year, no, this year is, uh, no, one no. gives you one game deep, Mike. <laughs> well, you never know what's gonna happen. <laughs> and the, how many games? How many games are in a football season, Mike? Oh God, um, this is our side set. <laughs> I, I would say about forty. Forty games. <laughs> yes. Okay. 
Uh, they would be dead. No, so the hey, players no, wait, would wait, wait, die. Wait, wait, let me answer. Like so 40, 40, so 40, 40, well, so 40, what do you think? You can't have 40 weeks of football. Right, of course. So what's the rule? I would say like 20. 20, right, of course. Yeah. So now what, uh, what is the record for the best record in the history of the NFL for one season? Whoa. Uh, <laughs> I would say Broadway Joe had a great season. Right. Now what was his record? Uh, what, was, what was his record in a 20-game season? Well, uh, he's, he's, probably, he's probably... He's standard 20-game season. He's probably... <laughs> <laughs> he, he was probably tied up with Mean Joe Green. Mean Joe Green. I don't think they ever played each other. Uh, probably not. They, so they now what, the same no, time no, no, right? what do you think his record was? His best season? I don't know. You know, he did a lot of other things besides football. He did a lot of, you know... You commercial. want to bring... Well, Commercials. Before, before we yeah. start with the other things, he made a movie, I think, with C.C. Ryder, excellent. But give, can you do the math properly with what do you think of football? Like, like if you play 20 games, yes. what would a record be? Like an example of a good record. Uh, Joe was awesome in his day. Uh, Mike, I'd like two numbers I need. The number of wins and the number of losses. And a, okay, 20 game season. 20, he probably won about uh, 14 out of 20. So what would his record have been? Uh, that would be uh, 20 and 6. <laughs> so in a twenty, wow. so in a twenty-game season, yes. you feel he went twenty and six. <laughs> well, it's, this is our side set. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, in a twenty-game season, you, you're saying he went twenty and six. I'm starting to lose my voice. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. And we're starting to lose listeners. <laughs> so twenty and six. I uh, watch, yeah. It was that's his best uh, in a twenty-game season. But well, maybe it was a little maybe. Give him a few more points. He was brought by John. So He's what, like 23 and 6? Yeah. Okay. Give him a, Anthony, Anthony. Mike, Anthony I want you to up. seriously get out a pen and paper. <laughs> Think about what you just said. And I have a pen we're going to readdress it. We're going to readdress it when we come back. The Artie Lang Show and more of the side set with Mike Bishop. <laughs> Welcome back. To the Artie Lang Show, Brent Stover here. We were just going over with uh, Mike Bichetti, what he feels was the best NFL season ever. And uh, he feels uh, the year Joe Namath 1969 went, uh, Jets. Uh, when guess, when right? Namath went 23 and six in a 20 game <laughs> season. Now, uh, like, do you realize how hard it is to win 23 games in a 20 game season? <laughs> I uh, just, I got to recalculate this. Well, yeah. I mean, it is, I mean, that is something else. To win 23 games in a 20 game season. I don't think it's ever been. I don't think it's ever been done again. To play 29 games in a 20-game season. <laughs> yeah, yeah 20. but Joe was incredible. He had those kind of... He uh, was. So you think he was actually good enough to change the schedule? Oh, yeah. To they, somehow they change... They worked around him. Do you think he actually was so good that Math. they allowed him to play nine extra games? <laughs> of course. He, he liked that, uh, that cash. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. 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 All right. Well, that's a side set for you. But he also, he, yeah, but he probably made a ton of dough doing, like, shaving commercials, too, I'm sure. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> but, I mean, compared to changing uh, the schedule. Yeah, but I, I think he did play Mean Joe Green. Well, do, do, you, have, uh, do you have a, a year where that, where that might have happened? Well, you know what? It, he, there could have been overlap there. Yeah. Early I, 70s. Yeah. Joe Green was born in the mid to late 70s, I think. Absolutely. Yeah, he was. He was. Mid, to, mid to late 70s. That would have been tough. But it could have been early in his career. I don't know. Maybe he started... Yeah, they, they could have overlapped. Give me a year you think that could have happened, Mike. I think it more would have happened with Rosie Greer. Those guys would have, that would have been like. So your answer time. is, when I when I ask you, give me a year that Mean Joe Green could have played at Joe Namath, you say, uh, you, your answer Rosie is Greer. Rosie Greer. No, no, wait, wait, <laughs> hold on. Maybe like 72 or so. The Artie Lang Show after this.